Hey guys and girls, it's Philip McKernan. I just want to share a little nuance from an interview I just did with a lady called uh, Shannon from, uh, she's from Australia, but she's living in, in Switzerland. And we just had a lovely conversation, at least I think we did. And her podcast is going to be out in a couple of weeks. But um, what was interesting is we chatted about clarity and a lack of clarity and something I shared with her, which I share a lot in recent times and something I'm believing more and more and more is so much more prevalent in society is this idea that in actual fact, a lot of us stutter and struggle with, um, you know, a kind of a, a something in front of us. We 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 have a lack of clarity, a lack, lack of momentum, a lot of a lack of action taking, and so on. And this thing in front of us, this thing that we think we want to do or we say we want to do, but it's actually a smokescreen for for something bigger and something wider and something larger, something more grand. Whether it's in a physical context or more grand, as in it's deeper and more meaningful to us. And it could be actually very, very simple. But we get caught in what's next and we, we, we put obstacles in the way because ultimately we're not actually afraid of uncovering that. We're afraid that if we get clear on that, it's going to clear the stepping stone or the mist is going to lift, so to speak, and unveil the next thing, which is ultimately the thing that we're avoiding. So what we do is we actually create complexity and a lack of clarity further back the line. So therefore, we don't have to address what this next thing is. Uh, a different way of, of, of saying it is, if I had an idea or what I do personally is in my right pocket, what I'm currently doing, what's in my left pocket is this idea that I'm contemplating and wondering and brainstorming and I'm thinking about it, but I'm not thinking about it. I want to step in, but I'm not stepping in. I'd love to step in, but I have too many responsibilities. But ultimately, I don't really care about that idea either. What I'm really intrigued by is what is in your back pocket, what's behind you, what is the thing that remains hidden, what is the thing that you're afraid to bring or to birth into the world, to share with the world, because that's the thing that brings you most alive. And that's the thing, ironically, will bring the world most alive. But the reason that we don't get to it is that the thought process about failing doing that just feels too big. It feels too enormous for us to even contemplate because a lot of us want to self-protect. We want to make sure that we're safe. And um, so what I encourage you to do is to contemplate what that idea is, not to get too attached, not to marry the idea that's next and not to over commit to, the, to that thing, experiment and lean into that thing and be open to what comes next. Uh, but most of all, just keep dreaming and wondering and creating the space in your life to wonder about the possibilities of what's next rather than getting constrained by the fear of what is to come because I think that's a tragedy and it means that the world is missing out and you're depriving the world of yourself and of your gifts. So there's a little thought for today. Hope you're well, take care and we'll talk soon. Bye.